G'day ladies and gents and welcome to the cold waters off the coast of Norway. Once again we are on the USS Grayling Sturgeon class nuclear attack submarine. It is 1984 and we have a new mission. So a report has come in. Start trying to identify these. A report has come in about a bunch of Soviet diesel electric submarines attacking shipping off the coast of Norway. The Wolfpack is suspected to be two to four submarines large, and we've just intercepted one that was heading back towards Russian waters. I'm not entirely sure whether or not this is going to be our group. It is out of our designated patrol area. Con sonar, Sierra 1, is classified as merchant. All right, never mind. That one there has been identified. So we have a surface merchant, two targets still. Sierra 3 next. like a tango sonar, now diesel electrics could be older boats submerged submarine but the way they were described i have a sneaking suspicion they could be something like the kilo um no i reckon that's a surface ship maybe no blue whale Con sonar, Sierra 2, is classified as biologic. Alright, so we have a single submarine on the scope. I'm pretty sure this is not our group. Um, as I said, we are too far up the coast, so that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. But still, a kill is a kill. We'll put this tango down. I have no idea what it's up to, but uh, it's in our way. We don't really want to spend any more than one torpedo on this thing. We've got three loaded in the tubes and we have eight in storage. So we are actually starting to run a little short. We just want to make sure we've got this one well identified. We want to make sure it can't hear us. We want to get this torpedo in on it. And that's it. We just one shot, one kill. That's what we need to do. All right, location on it is confirmed. There she is. What speed is she currently doing? She's doing eight knots. 6.6 .6 kilo yards out. Not doing anything too interesting at this point. Now, conditions. We have no duct, no thermal layer. We're at 600 feet. Our bottom is at, a, well, 1,130 feet currently. So we do have a bottom here that we can potentially hit. Uh, I'd like to have a thermal layer to fire this, but I'm pretty sure we should be safe with the Tango. So I'm going to fire... So, you know, with this one, I can't afford to miss with a wire break. We can't afford to mess up with that many torpedoes, so... Shoot 2-1. Aye, sir. Oh, we still have control. Alright, so I'm going to try and bring this torpedo right around and onto the Tango's flank. This should take a little while, but it should be a relatively easy and reliable kill. Con sonar, launch transient from Sierra 3. Alright, so... Maneuvering, making turns for... Four, the Tango nine. actually managed to hear our torpedo. This is a might bit concerning. So those torps are going to be relatively close to our location. Alright, I'm going to dive to a thousand feet. One, zero, zero, zero feet dive by. Conditions that will leave us. Ah, uh, the bottom's coming up. We're really close to the Norwegian coast here, so that does sure doesn't surprise me. I'm gonna go to nine hundred and fifty feet. feet dive That'll by. give us about a hundred feet buffer off the bottom. We'll have to keep an eye on that too. Right, Tango is turning and running. Thankfully, those two torpedoes... Oh. If it goes... If this one goes into a search pattern before we're really past it, it could potentially hear us. That would be a might bit embarrassing. Alright, sensors...
So the Tango is at about 250 feet. Bring a torpedo up to match. The Tango is also going to be running at flank at the moment. Which for it is about 15 knots. That Cars seems about correct. Feet below the keel. Ooh, that's going up fast. All right, go to 900 Make feet. Depth nine, zero, zero feet. Dive by. Oh yeah, we're right on the bottom here at the moment. Yeah, we might actually have to go Make up and get more of a gap. We've, zero, zero feet, we don't by. have a lot of room to play with here, surprisingly. Well, you know what? Go back to 600 feet. Make depth Toad six, array retracted. Zero, zero feet, dive by. Go to flank. Make turns four, two, six, there nine, is no way known the Tango is actually going to be able to hear us at the moment. If we can cover the distance... Get a sprint past the activation Con point on this torpedo. Weapon acquired. And we just lost the wire, but our weapon is acquired. Right, so we're going to change Con direction two, here one, as well. Two, seven, helm, I. Actually, no. That'll Con slow right down two, our gap. One, nine, we're going to turn him seven, back towards helm, the torpedos. I. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing, two, zero, seven. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure homing. Torpedoes are active. Come left to one seven nine helm I. One is in a search pattern. Con, One's helm, running straight. Steady course. Con dive at six zero zero feet. Dive by. Alright, we're good. So I'm running. Quiet. Actually, not all, not silent running. Make, make turns for four knots. The problem with guide. silent running is Come left because two, you're trying one, to be quiet. One, one helm I. It um, it stops all active. Go to make ten. Turn. Back to five. Make it stops four, all five, active reloads nine, and every other action, eye. including damage control inside of the submarine whenever it's activated. Con maneuvering, making turns for five, nine. Right, so now I want to run parallel to the tango. Come left to one. Let the total ray back out six, so we can monitor nine, what's going on, even though we do not have any any control of this torpedo. This is all on it at the moment. Con sonar, noisemaker, bearing two. Zero, Come on, see five. through, see through, get the kill. I do not want you getting flung back towards me. Yeah, this is looking good. Yeah, you're done. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra. All right, three, tango down. Bearing two zero five. Contact breaking up. Was not expecting that tor uh, that uh, tango to actually detect our torpedo. And that was fairly close to us, even at that range. Tango's are normally deaf as a post, but uh, there we have it anyway. All right, so 3,800 tons, one Tango down. Still have 10 Mark 48s left on board. Now, I'm not expecting this to actually be our mission. Return to mission objective immediately. That's what I thought. All right. Alright, so this is a much more promising environment, although we've got f six contacts here at the moment, so this is busy. Alright, so first things first, conditions. We do have a thermal layer and we have a duct. And we have a bottom at 1700 feet. Okay, so we've got plenty of room, uh, room to maneuver here. Probably should start getting some of these identified. I'm concerned about Sierra 1. It's disappeared almost as soon as we came on to uh, entered the area. It's a pretty unique signature on this one. Huh. 
come back. Okay. Con biologic Sierra, Sierra two is classified as biologic. And Sierra three is Con also sonar. biologic. Sierra three is classified as biologic. Sierra six is not, and it is very quiet. It nearly lines up on a whiskey. Lines up on a whisk and a tank. It lines up nicely on both a tango and a kilo. I can't see either of these lines clearly enough to confirm which one of the two it is. I'm going to assume kilo for the moment. Con sonar Sierra Six is classified as submerged submarine. Con sonar Sierra Six is classified as submerged submarine. It's Tango. Okay, misidentified. Sierra 4 is a trawler, so we're getting some of these by default. I think this is actually the experience of our sonar crew, uh, of our uh, crew, uh, coming into play here. The experience you see at the bottom of each of our mission reports. Con Sonar that Sierra trawler? 5 is classified as Merchant. Alright, so I'm going to guess that Sierra 1 is also... Come left to a submarine, zero, and nine, one that's gone one, very L quiet. Alright, we should be able to make the left turn with the Toad Array out without any issues whatsoever. So Tango and something. don't really want to fire a shot until I've confirmed where Sierra 1 is. Although we... The Tango here is in a perfect position for it. It's 14 kilo yards out. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra 6. Last bearing. 1, 2, 8. Contact faded. Alright, I'm going to mark location. Once we straighten up, I'm going to fire a torpedo. I didn't get its depth. That's the problem. I'm hoping the turn's going to reveal Sierra 1. So far, nothing. Because at the moment, I can fire the shot, head it towards the humpbacks. I know, risky. Turn it south and have it hooked down. If the Russians fire up this way... Well, there's risks involved with that, but uh, it won't be my torpedo that's causing the risk. Regardless, they're going to fire in some direction. They're going to fire, um, uh, fight counterfire when it's detected. And that's all fine. But if Sierra 1 is close enough to hear me launch the torpedo, I'm going to get counterfired on as soon as the torpedo leaves the tube. And that's what I'm concerned about. And we still Con do not no. have... Steady course. A location on Sierra One. All right, so we are going to we're going to drop to three hundred feet, stick our heads Make below three, thermal zero, well, zero feet, die by. See if that's enough to reveal Sierra One. If it doesn't, I'm going to risk the shot on the. Uh, risk the shot on Sierra Six, just because I do not want to get it to uh, to get too Con far away from the There it is. Hello. Sierra, one, zero, right, what seven, are you? Four. Before you disappear, you haven't got much Con of a signal. Sonar regained contact on Sierra Six, bearing one three zero. Okay, it's looking like two tangos. Con sonar Sierra One is classified as submerged submarine. Where did it move? Oh, it moved the tango all the way there. Yeah, that's that's bullshit. We know it's not there. All right, I want what forty-five. Still risky, but I'm going to take the shot. I'm going to go back to 150 feet. Make 
depth two zero zero feet dive by. Slipping just above the layer. I'm actually going to fire the torpedoes south. Seem to be a little slow here. Alright, solution on the tango is up to 74. And it's looking really close. Really close. Eighty-five percent tango is confirmed. Six point six kiloyards, close enough to potentially hear this shot. And it looks like Sierra Six has gone back to roughly where it's supposed to be. Con, dive at one five zero feet, dive by. All right, holding at one hundred and fifty. I'm thinking we should wait. Might actually go full stop. Make turns for zero knots. Maneuvering eye. Just disappear. Sierra 6 is not going to detect us. I'm concerned about Sierra 1 detecting us, and it does seem to be turning away. So if we just quietly sit here, full stop, 150 feet on the other side of the layer. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra six. Yep, last that bearing surprise one, me. three, four. Contact faded. Because we've got no tow to ray out now. We can't have the tow to ray out while we're not moving. We need to be moving forward to keep the tow to ray stretched out in the water. If we're stationary, it'll start to dangle and it can yeah, bad things can happen. So it needed to be retracted. But that's okay. We know roughly where it is. Alright, so we're just gonna wait here and I'm gonna hope. Tango continues to turn through, and it might give us a near perfect rear shot straight into the baffles. God, it's like it's asking for it. Okay, um, we are getting a perfect rear shot into the baffles. We're getting a perfect rear shot because for some reason the Tango's reversing. I have no idea why. I've never seen one do this before, but it is reversing. One. Aye, sir. Straight into the baffles. So torpedo one is away. We're not going to fire torpedo two because we may have to do some evasive magic y bullshit here to dodge torpedoes if this thing does detect. But I don't think it will. I don't think it actually will. I just have no idea what it's doing. I've never seen one do that before. Why is it backing up? What the hell are you doing? going to keep the torpedo above the layer. Just want it to speed up. I don't know what the tango is doing, but it can turn probably faster than we can, to be perfectly honest. So why it's doing whatever the hell this is, I want to get the torpedo in on it as fast as I possibly can. <laughs> I just don't know what it's doing. Other than, you know, re reversing into its own death.
Con, fire control, weapon acquired. All right, torpedo has locked target. I'm not actively pinging. I don't want to do anything to alert it. All right, so the tango is starting to turn. But at this point in the baffles should still have absolutely no idea what the hell is about to happen to it. Can't see the torpedo yet. Distance should be half a kill yard. Torpedo's coming in from over here. Still no reaction whatsoever. I've never seen this before. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra one. He Last never saw it either. Zero six nine. Contact breaking up. Yeah. Um. Contact is most certainly breaking up. Let's reload tube one and fire off tube two. Shoot tube two. Aye, sir. We can use the uh, the sound of the tango imploding to uh, to cover us putting another torpedo on the water. Not that I expect our friend here is going to be able to pick us up. Let's go to five. Make turns for five knots. And I'm going to dip up. down to Make 250 up, feet. Five, zero feet dive by. Once we're at 250, I'll deploy the tow array. We are now at five knots. Toad Array deploying. So it's spooling out there because we're just diving at the moment. And on. Sierra, six, bearing, one, four, we have a four. pickup on six. It's nowhere near where I'm expecting it to be, but it's going to bounce around a little bit as we uh, sort out its signal. That's fine. Just going to extend a little bit of uh, distance here on the torpedo before we actually make the turn south. I suspect it's going to be around about here. Somewhere around here is going to be my, uh, my current estimate. Yep, solution has resolved, and a little bit further over than I thought. I thought it would be a little bit further south and not quite so far in, but that's alright. So, torpedo turning in. Now, our torpedo is still sitting above the thermal layer. It hasn't changed depth from when we fired it, only we've changed position. So, it's still invisible to the tango. It shouldn't hear this coming, at least not until it's reasonably close. So we've just got to let this one hook around and in for a sweet kill. Alright, so it took a little bit of messing around, but we've managed to get the second torpedo also into a baffled shot on the second tango. So once again, it can't hear... Well, at the moment, the torpedo is still above the thermal layer, so the tango can't hear it at all, but it's still not going to hear this coming. So it's floating about 700 feet at the moment. So once the torpedo is active, we're going to manually dive it down. And it has no idea what's happened. I imagine it heard the explosion of the tango going off, but it's deaf as a post. All right, so it's well within detection range. So dive torpedo to depth. And the second we let it go, it should acquire the tango. Con, fire control, we weapon go. acquired. Torpedo has acquired. And torpedo is homing. Current range, again, the rings aren't exactly accurate, but we're at about two kilo yards, roughly, from the tango. slowing down at the moment it's at seven knots so it is listening just not listening anywhere near well enough all right we're inside of a kill yard now heading towards half here yep we're starting to see it starting to see it come in and again tango has no idea what's about to happen to it Kind of disappointed it's a couple of tangos. Was hoping to tackle with a couple of kilos, but if that is what it is, it is what it is. We are starting to run, uh. Con sonar lost contact. Sierra Boom. 6, last bearing 1, 7, 5. Contact breaking up. 
Yeah, we are starting to run the Russians out of all their good toys, so it's uh, it's not exactly surprising. All right, so vicinity of the Greenland Sea. I'm not sure how accurate that is, considering we're right on the coast of Norway. Anyways, uh, 15th of December, 1984, 1600 hours, two tangos sunk, 7,600 tons. We still have eight Mark 48s on board. Whole bunch of new experience and crew proficiency has increased. Let's see if this was our target. Congratulations on a job well done, Commander. We need you to protect these merchants at all costs. Stand by for further orders. Beautiful. So, mission has completed. Now, with eight torpedoes left, our, well, my main goal, unless there's something, an absolute emergency that I can't avoid here, is going to be to head straight back for Holy Lock to reload more. I can probably do one more engagement here, but it depends on where it is and what we're going to be engaging. If we're engaging a fleet, I want more than eight torpedoes. If we're, um, if we're only going after another small wolf pack of submarines, yep, yeah, I, I might deal with this. Anyways, let's check out for a news report. Oh no, we get a medal. Cool. We get the Distinguished Service Medal. Okay, Captain Hugh Jass's uh, steadfast devotion and superior tactical decisions have consistently brought success to his unit in action. Yep, we've seen these before. Another medal for the collection. And here is our news report. Supplies getting to troops. Submarine attacks on merchant convoy, uh, convoys trans... Huh. Transiting the Norwegian Sea have decreased in recent days. An Alliance press spokesman provided little additional information, but did state that we will make the most of our current good luck and continue to bring the fight to enemy subforces. Some analysts were surprised at Soviet losses, especially... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Some analysts were surprised at Soviet losses. Oh yeah, this is right. This is in 1984, not in 2022. Uh, especially the hits taken by what were thought to be nearly undetectable advanced diesel. Those were not advanced in any way, shape, or form. Undetectable and advanced diesel electric submarines. I think both our equipment and our training are much better than many people realize, said one NATO expert. Yeah, no shit. 2022. We know this now. Anyways, ladies and gents, I'm going to call this one here. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, sorry for the delay on Cold Waters this week. A few things have popped up, but there will be more Cold Waters coming to the channel very soon, as always. And until next time, remember to click that like button if you did. Share and subscribe if you want to see more, and take care.